All right, welcome back everybody to another tutorial where we are going to talk about AI tools as usual. But this time we are not going to talk about ChatGPT alone. We are going to talk about some great tools which have recently been introduced and typically focus on image creation and producing all kinds of graphics, all kinds of eye-opening, jaw-dropping graphics that you could possibly imagine. So one of those tools which has recently become famous is midjourney.com. So we are here on the midjourney.com website, but we are we are strictly not going to focus on midjourney.com. We are also going to pick up um, another tool, which is Lexica. So Lexica and midjourney, plus there are a couple other tools which can be used for the same purpose. But and we you also can find subtle differences in the way they process images. However, midjourney.com is um, the more famous one. So we are going to start with midjourney and we are going to go ahead and test the same prompt that we we use on midjourney. And we would, use, we would use that prompt on Lexica as well to see what kind of images we can produce. So we are, we are going to sign in to midjourney.com. And we're going to go to the prompts. Oh, so it's been quite a while since I came back here because I normally do not have to, um, you know, I don't have to really work on bedjenny.com more often. But anyway, so we're going to join the Discord. Okay, here we are. For those of you who do not know how what midjourney.com is, so midjourney is a great tool where there are a lot of people experimenting with all different kind of stuff. And you can see here, you can you can see what kind of images are being produced by different People there. there are a lot of people here who are consistently uploading images, they're tweaking images, they're trying to produce much better quality for their submitted ones. So this is, their Discord is a very active channel. So it's, you can, you can see that they have, they have a few channels created here. So uh, newbie channels, newbie 29, 59, 89. So once you join the Discord, for midjourney.com, you're going to come across these various channels. I'd suggest that you go to one of those newbie ones, this newbies uh, 29, 59, or 89. So you join either one of them, and this is going to, you know, give you, um, or in fact, it will allow you to start creating your own graphics. For instance, easiest way to do this on midjourney.com is slash imagine in the message window here. So you, you see if if I click here and if, if I type slash, I'm, um, I get this pop-up window. And if I select imagine, so imagine is where I can give the prompt to Majenny.com. So this is how we're going to, this is how we're going to ask Majenny to produce images for us. So I can tell it to, image uh, to produce an image of, let's say, White House, right? Why is it White House? Oh, it's a real, okay. So these are all attributes. You can literally go in detail about attributes, but um, you can type all kinds of things here. It will still understand aerial view. So, I'm going to just type it and midjourney.com is going to take the command. You can see that it's processing the command waiting to waiting to get started. So we are going to wait for that. So okay, let's see if it came up with something. Oh, there's there's some weird images. 
So if you stay on this channel for some time, it's like, it's completely mind-blowing. Did it come back with our image yet or not? No. I see that file line girl. Cool. Great stuff. Okay. Oh, there we go. So it's our image for White Houses right here. So which one would we like, right? It's done yet? Yep, it's done. Okay. So which one? Is it really White House? Yeah, so, so anyways, it, it is something. So we are going to go with an upscale of image one. Ah, oh, that's Einstein. Look at Einstein. Einstein is holding a skull here. <laughs> that's fascinating. Oh, a unicorn in a magical forest. Yeah, makes sense. So, you know, maybe sometimes it happens that you're not in a, in a position to think about some great prompts. So you see that? You see that big, of, big prompt here? Oil painting portrait including chest of a pretty female, late teens Japanese in 21st century with a smile and closed mouth wearing a low-cut designer dress and putting a shiny pendant on her neck. Let's check that out. Let's see if... Wow, how beautiful that is. Yeah. So it's a long prompt, right? So, yeah, I'm a bit lazy to write about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven lines of prompt. But this is where the beauty of AI is, certainly. So I'm going to bring in, just thinking out loud, I'm going to bring in my my friend Chat GPT here, right? So I bring it here. I tell it. <laughs> to give me a prompt for an AI to produce image of a maybe girl from England who has oh, who has blue eyes. And it's very beautiful. And it's sitting in her in her village farm. Right? So let's see what ChatGPT gives us. Generate an image of a young girl with long curly blonde hair, bright blue eyes, and a warm smile. She's sitting on a wooden bench in a lush green field surrounding white tail. But that is really not much of a description of the girl, but it's more of a description of um, of the scene, right? So add, I'll, I'll just tell it to add more description to the features and so oh and the dress of the girl. Okay. The girl in the image has a delicate yet strong facial structure with high cheekbones and a small nose. Her bright blue eyes sparkle in the sunlight, and her long curly blonde hair is styled in loose waves that cascade down her back. She's wearing a simple yet elegant white sundress. Okay, so yeah. Combine these two descriptions in one prompt for the AI so that I can produce, so it can produce an image, right? It can produce the image. Okay, so let's check that one out. Oh, uh, that's beautiful. Let's see what it comes up with. So, yeah, so I'm lazy, but ChatGPT is not lazy. And it has given me a good long prompt. So, I'll copy it here, or till here. I'll ignore the first couple of words. I'll go back to, I'll just move it away. So, I'll go back to discard. Yeah. 
Let's see what people are working on. Yeah, I can believe that. So, good image, my friend. Good image. Oh. Huh. Yeah, nice images. Everybody's working, you know, wearing a pendant. Cool. What's Einstein doing? Albert Einstein in classroom carrying human brain is and my goodness. So anyways, we're gonna we're gonna go to our prompt and see what, what it comes up for us. I don't want to waste time here to avoid the length of this video anyway. I wanted to keep it short. So prompt is and we want to keep it ultra realistic realistic. Ultra realistic. Okay. And hit it. Let's actually see. So what it produces now. We'll wait. We'll wait till it gives or gives us something. That's not my prompt. That is not also my prompt. Not my image. Where's my image? Come on, dude. You're getting slow on me. Yeah, we know. So people mess up like that. And you come to know about all the prompts anyway. So look at look at the description that this guy has put in. Oh, wow. Okay. Imagine the quality here. So, yeah, we will upscale to. Let's give us. It's ultra realistic. It's four K. Look at the look at the stuff that it has produced. By the way, it's not it's not actual human. It's artificial intelligence. So we are going to go to the next prompt. It's the job is waiting to start. We can we can just wait for wait and enjoy the rest of the we can enjoy the rest of the stuff here. People are writing all, all kinds of prompts. Uh, let's see. Oh wow. What's happening here, my friend? In the meanwhile, while it is working on it, so we are going to move to Lexica. So Lexica is like that. So there, there, is, there are a ton of beautiful images on Lexica as well, no doubt. So we are going to go to, so once you go onto the homepage and you sign in, so I'm not going to go through the sign up or sign in process. It's pretty straightforward. So let's getting straight to the business. Once you click on generate, these, these images that you see below, they're all, community feeds, but then you can, you know, click here and you can click generate here as well. So it just went straight here. Okay. So, all right. So it says the prompt should be must then. It should be must, uh, sorry, it should be less than 600 characters. I'm going to ignore this one and generate the image. Let's see what it comes up with. And where is our where is our image? So that guy is, that dude is still working on the Japanese girl. Yeah. Okay. See, it's hyper realistic. It's not. It's not just realistic. You cannot. Can you really imagine that it is um, it is AI? No, you can't. I cannot distinguish either. So, flag this prompt. Oh dear, you guys are boring. Help us, Mexico, age appropriate by rephrasing your prompt or picking a different subject. Image of a young girl with a delicate yet strong facial structure. I did not do anything wrong in that. So it somehow. Okay, sharp sleeves, 
Blanchard best. Okay. Uh, clenched waist, whatever. So she has a clenched waist and skirt. Let me generate again. Let's see. Come on. Let's hope you do not flag it now. In the meanwhile, we are going to not beta upscale that, but we're going to open that in a separate window and see how does the girl look like. Now, where did it go? So, yeah, okay, I'm going to put that away too. Now, what's wrong with that picture? <laughs> there's, there's a positive prompt and there's a negative prompt. Well, somehow, uh, yeah, congratulations. There is our image. Not much description that it allowed us to take in, but anyways, uh, there is that young girl which is sitting on the farm in her village, and then there it is, the lady here. Okay, so yeah, these are the two beautiful girls that we could produce with, with the help of our friend Chat GPT. So this is it for this tutorial. Just wanted to show you guys the power of prompt engineering and how ChatGPT can help you in prompt engineering with Lexica and Midjourney and how ultra realistic images you can produce with these kind of tools. So I'll def I'm definitely going to see you in the next video. So you guys take good care of yourself and see you again.